As with most things during the first few months of parenting, burping a baby can initially seem a little bewildering. Burping your baby is a common part of baby's daily routine. But you might wonder, what causes the need for baby to burp, and why do they need assistance to burp? Burping is caused by the swallowing of air. The most efficient way for the air to be released is through the mouth, but many a baby's muscles are still developing, which is why they need help to get that air out. The process is an important part of their development, as it helps them to practice healthy digestion. In this video, we will discuss how to burp your baby and why it is absolutely vital to do so. Number 1. Baby Burping. Why do babies need to be burped? Young babies tend to swallow a lot of air when they're feeding, which can cause air bubbles to become trapped in their stomach. In fact, if your baby is not burped, trapped gas in their stomach could give them a bellyache, and even make it hard for them to sleep. Number 2. When should you burp your baby? When it comes to baby burping, some babies need to be burped during their feed, some babies need to be burped after. The best thing you can do is follow their lead. If they seem fussy while feeding, i.e. if they squirm, cry or refuse to take the bottle, breast, try burping them midway through the feed. If they seem fine, keep going and burp them when they have finished. Number 3. How to burp your baby. There are three traditional ways to burp a baby. Try each of them out and see which one works best for you. With all three methods, it's best to have a spit-up rag ready, as babies often bring up a little milk when they burp. It's a good idea to have wipes on hand too. They're great for cleaning up baby, and you, when needed. Over your shoulder. Position your baby so that they're lying against you with their chin resting on your shoulder. Then gently rub or pat their back until you hear a burp. Sitting on your lap. Sit your baby sideways on your lap, using one hand to gently support their face and upper body. With your other hand, gently rub or pat their back. Lying on your lap. Lie your baby across your lap with their tummy facing downwards. Support their body with one hand, then use the other to gently rub or pat their back. Number 4. Can you burp a sleeping baby? While it may be tempting to put your little one straight to bed if they fall asleep during a feed, for their own comfort it's best to try and burp them. A full and wind-free baby will sleep better and for longer, which of course means you will sleep better and longer too. Number 5. How to burp a sleeping baby. The over-the-shoulder method is usually best for burping a sleeping baby without waking them, but if this doesn't work, gently try one of the other two methods mentioned earlier. Number 6. What to do if your baby won't burp. If you can't get your baby to burp no matter how hard you try, don't worry too much, they'll most likely pass the excess air out at a later time, or at the other end, usually very noisily too. If they begin to get very fussy or distressed, however, try sitting them up with support for 15 minutes or even gently bouncing them on your lap. These both often result in the burp coming out on its own. Number 7. At what age can you stop burping your baby? Most babies tend to stop spitting up when they can sit up. This typically happens between 4 and 9 months of age. As with all things baby, just follow their cues, they'll let you know when they are ready for you to stop burping them. Burping is more than just a release of air, it relieves their discomfort or stops it before it starts. Be patient when burping your baby, and know that you are helping them with an important element. So hey, tell us which position is your favorite when burping your baby in the comments section below. And thanks for watching Tiny Tribe Parents. If you enjoyed this video please click the like button, comment and subscribe to our channel for more incredible content that is on the way.